I look forward to seeing you at the royal ball. Sincerely, Prince Anthony. My soulmate is the prince. No one can know about this. Brielle, pull me my tea. Yes, ma'am. Mother, we have nothing to wear to the ball. We need some more dresses. You have plenty of dresses that you can wear. Don't be selfish. What did you just say? Ooh, she's gonna get it now. You should apologize to Mother. I... <gasps> that wasn't my fault. She... she pushed me. You idiot. I am so sorry. <sighs> Come here. You're staying in here tonight. No, please. Please let me out. Hello? Anyone? Brielle, wake up! Olivia, what are you doing? I'm gonna help you. I brought you food? This? This is the kindest thing you've ever done for me. Oh, here! I found your real soulmate letter. Thank you. The annual soulmate ball is tomorrow. You should come. I would love to, but your mother will never let me go. I have a plan on how you can sneak out. Really? Yeah. I'll keep your letter safe until then. Mother will let you out in a few hours. Bye! Oh, but... Hello, Brielle. I hope you learned your lesson. Now come, Olivia wants to speak with you. Whoa, that dress looks great on you. Thank you, but can I have my soulmate letter back now? Yeah, of course, here. Hey, why does my soulmate letter status say stolen? You have your letter. It's got to be a glitch. Yeah, I guess you're right, but will they let me in the ball with this status? No one can see your status except for you. Brielle, where are you? Hold on to that letter. You'll need to show it to your soulmate as proof that you're his match. Now let's go. She did it. I made it to 80%? Yep, I can't wait to see Rebecca's face. Yo, Peter, you're right. She was a good kisser. You said that? Oh, what? what? No, I... Somebody's got a crush. Oh. <laughs> Jason, shut up. Not you all exposing Peter. <laughs> hey, Sydney. I see you raised your percentage. Well, so did I. Looks like we're tied. Sid, you better watch your back. Why? Because Rebecca's totally obsessed with being the most popular. And if you come for her title, girl, she's going to come for you. Sydney, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, Peter. Hi, I wanted to ask you if you, um, <clears throat> if you wanted to go to prom with me. Sure, I'd love to. Sweet, I'll, uh, I'll pick you up at eight. Dad, I need a prom dress. Actually, sweetheart, your mother left you something for this day. She always thought of everything. Let me show you. Stand there for your picture. Mind if we take it without the gems? Smile at Sydney. She looks so pretty. Sid, Rebecca's super upset that you took her title. You better be careful. Wait, do you know where Peter went? Heard you're looking for Peter. Yeah, have you seen him? Actually, yes. Let me show you where he is. Lucas, Peter isn't here. Yeah, I know. I I lied, okay? What? Why would you- Because I wanted to get you alone so you and I could, you know, kiss and you can get up to 100%. No, I don't care about my popularity score anymore. But Sydney, once you hit 100%, you meet your soulmate. You could meet him tonight. Do you really think so? I know so. That's the law. One kiss is all it takes. Ugh! Lucas, did you have something on your lips? Just chapstick. All natural apple chapstick. Apples? I'm allergic to- I know. It's not working. <laughs> Get help. <laughs> Mom. How is she doing today, doctor? A little bit better. But her medication she needs is taking a week to come. I have to get this marker working. Do you think that'll get the water out? I really hope so, because Mom cannot be waiting a week for her medication. Yeah, you gotta draw it. It worked. Yay! Let's go bring it to mom. Great. What? It's Stacy. The one who messed up your magic? Yeah, just let me handle her. What are you doing here? Just visiting a relative, but I'm kind of hungry. Draw me money. She can't draw you money. It doesn't... Oh, hey! My gosh, just draw me $10. It's super easy. You know what? You're right. And that makes $10 I drew for you. There you go. Thank you for drawing me this, honey. And actually, I forgot my... Charger? Yeah, I know. Officer, I didn't know it was counterfeit. She shouldn't have used that money. <laughs> Let go of me! I just want to buy food! What did you paint? Nothing! I was just scribbling. Really? Then let me see it. No, wait! What is this? This is going in the garbage. Please, he wasn't done yet. 
He? Were you trying to draw a boyfriend? No. Give me that. No, this is my magic paintbrush. You can't just- Don't tell me what I can't do. I'm confiscating all of your paint stuff until tomorrow. Sorry, Mom, but I'm finishing this. The last thing I need is his eye color. I think this blue will look nice. He's done. Did you learn your lesson? Yeah, I did. Good. Here's your painting supplies back. Today, there is a lot I need you to paint for me. I finished your purple hair clips. Thank you, honey. Can I be done now? Hmm. I know you're not that tired. Well, it has been two hours, so okay, you rest. Mom, five more minutes. I'm not your mom. I'm your boyfriend. Hey! Just let me try them on, jeez. So how do I look? You look really cute. You should take a picture. You okay? Yeah, um, you can have these back. What is going on? Hey, girly. I got this for you. Oh, thank you. Do you have those history notes? You know what, on second thought? You can take it back. So ah. How was school? Oh, it was super fun. Do you think I could borrow your denim jacket? Yeah, sure. It's in my closet. I knew it. You look nice in that. That's my lucky jacket. Well, you're not getting it back. Huh? Nothing. Can we talk? It's kind of urgent. Yeah, on my way. Then I figured out that my stepdad was cheating on my mom. Oh my gosh, that's awful. You know, I just feel like I need to give you something. Um, thanks. <laughs> what? You alright? We're soulmates. I don't even know your name. Oh, right. My name is William. I have a canoe we can escape Not in. so fast. You take my son. I'll take the girl. No! William. Where are we? We're on Skull Island, princess. In the exact spot we were all cursed. How much of my blood do you need? To break the curse, we need all of it. Father, no! You stay away from my daughter. Dad? I told you he was alive. Take all of his crewmates into custody. Turn around. Wait, I was trying to help her! No, wait. Spare him, please. That's my soulmate. Gods, leave him. Yes, your majesty. Dad, I thought that you were dead. How did you find me? I gave you that necklace for a reason, love. It's a tracker. I see you chose to remain a princess. Well, Marianne, would you still like to marry a pirate? Yes. How would you like to be Mary? Got her talking to a boy today. Probably trying to find her soulmate, but that's never gonna happen. Stella? What the hell is wrong with you? Are you alright? Aw, uh, you haven't kissed your soulmate yet, have you? Well, are you in some sort of trouble? Stella! There you are. What's going on? Are these your parents? Oh, stop it. Come here. So sorry about this. Whoa! Time to go. What did you do? He did what had to be done. He's gone. And it's your fault. Anybody home? That's the boy from her school. I'll take care of this one. What do you want to tell me? The woman that's coming? She's not my real mom. I was taken from my real parents. What? Why would they do that? Because they wanted my- Stella! You're kidding me! Guess you didn't learn your lesson. Hey, let's go. No. You can talk? Wait a minute. Shouldn't you be happy for her? I am happy. It's just that my daughter, she's deeply troubled. Don't listen to anything that she- Oh, hush. Ow. Hey, is she alright? She's okay, but like I said, she's not so well in the mind. Can we have a moment? Uh, okay. No, wait. Let go. I have my voice back now. It's over, Karen. Everyone is going to know the truth about what you... About what you... Shh, that's enough. Ugh, I don't know what we're going to do. The little brat kissed her soulmate. Well, she's not going to stay asleep for long. I think her soulmate might have called the... Hey, this is the police. Open the door. Shit, we have to hide her. Why don't you keep her company? Ugh. We'll be back. I'm so sorry. This this was a trap. They, they made me call you. It's all right. I had a feeling this was going to happen. 
Any last words, kid? No, please. I got some words for you. My dad's a cop. Freeze. Please. Stella, you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Ugh, get off of me, babe. Do something. Ugh, forget it. It's over. We were so close to getting your bank account, Stella. You were almost 18. You just had to wait three more months. We told you we'd let you go after that. That's enough out of you. Come on. Don't worry. We're going to find your real parents. That would mean the world to me. I haven't seen them since I was 10 years old. You're going to see them again. My dad and I will make sure of it. I couldn't have asked for a better soulmate. Same here. That you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow, pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No, have you? Nope, and I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh yeah, things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. Ho <laughs> ho, there she is. I thought I heard you talking to someone. Really? That's funny. We wanted to tell you the toy machine is fixed. Oh, good. But we need to know... Who your soulmate is. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm not feeling so well. I think I'm gonna go get some fresh air. Oh, no. Okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get cancelled. What am I gonna do? <gasps> Holly. Jared? Do not move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. Well, that's not very comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working. The hole is closing up. All right, you should be good to cross now. Just give me your hand. Wait, I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you, I promise. Let me see your hand. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice and easy now. Whoa, hey, you all right? Yeah, thank you. You know, I'm probably going to end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is going to be so disappointed in me. Well, I'm used to that. My dad, he thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah, it's because I'm not really all that great at using my powers. Well, you seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Well, thanks. Want to see something cool? Uh, okay. Whoa, it's... it's beautiful. You really are. I mean, it's beautiful, but you... you are too. Jared, what are you doing? Dad! Son, get over here right now. We were just talking, Jack. That's Mr. Frost to you. And I know flirting when I see it. Ow! Dad, let go! No son of mine is going to date a Kringle. Stop it. That isn't fair. Get out of here, kid, before I turn you into an ice sculpture. It's okay, Holly. Just go. You're never going to see her again. Mom, Dad, there you guys are. Why are you looking at me like that? Because for the first time in 18 years... You are on the naughty list. Listen, I can explain. It's because... I haven't been very truthful about who my soulmate is. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. <gasps> what? No, it can't be. But wait, listen, he's actually really nice, and he needs my help. Ho <laughs> ho, nice? Don't you remember what his father did to you last year? No, but Jared is different. Honey, his family cannot be trusted, and you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. I have to help Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Hey, I can help you. Darling, look. <gasps> What do I do? Well, a fairies can control their wings. Try to make them disappear. Are they gone? Oh, yes, they're gone. Darling, you must control your wings at school. But I don't know if I can. You have to, or they will take you away for experimentation. There you are. It's time for the DNA check. I'm still not feeling well. You have to take it. I should really be getting to class. You can't go to class until you take the test. Hold still. We're taking a hair sample instead. Ow. See, that wasn't so bad. We'll have your results shortly. Go to class. Hey, Luna. Oh, hey, Gulia. What's the matter? You seem really sad. I'm a little bit worried about something. Oh, well, you can trust me. What's bothering you? Well, attention, students. Will Luna Black please come to the front office? You guys wanted to see me? We got your DNA results. We need you to come with us. What? Take her away, boys. No. You really thought you could hide from us. Let me see your arm. This won't hurt a bit. Since you're one of the last fairies, we need to do research on your blood. Uh, don't be such a baby. Doctor, I think you may have taken too much blood. Let me see. She still has a pulse. She's fine. We need the pixie dust from her blood. Time to wake up. 
I feel really weak. That's because all your pixie dust is now in this necklace. You'll be dead soon. What? Yes, I'm afraid we've drained all your power. And fairies can't survive without their pixie dust. I'm sorry, dear, I can't hear you. <laughs> Dad? Luna, I had a feeling they would take you. It will be okay. I'm going to get you out of here. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You are the reason there's no more fairies left in this school. Wait! Oh! Quickly, take off that necklace. Now put on this one, darling, to restore your fairy power. Luna, I need your DNA. Wait, I... I feel sick. You look fine. No, really, I feel like I could just... Ugh, throw up at any second. Okay, you can have a pass for today. But you'll have to get the DNA check tomorrow. Yeah, of course. Thanks. Dad, you've got some explaining to do. My creature name just appeared, and it says fairy. Oh, darling, I knew this day would come. So I'm not a vampire like you? Well, no, you're not. I knew it! You told me my things weren't coming in because I was a late bloomer, but I knew there was another reason. So I guess this means you're not actually my dad. No, I adopted you. Well, apparently, fairies are the most rarest creature. Please tell me you didn't take the DNA test. No, I didn't. I told them that I was feeling sick, but they said I have to take it tomorrow. This is very... <gasps> what? I'm not allowed to talk to you anymore. Wait, what? I don't get it. At first, they were okay with me dating you. Then all of a sudden, they're telling me to stay away from you. Well, maybe if I go talk to them, they'll change their mind. No, I, I think we better just keep our distance. Aw, oh, baby, what's the matter? Claudin and I can't be together. There are plenty of young mermen for you in the sea. No, Dad, I don't want to date a mer... Wait a minute, Dad would never say something like that. You're controlling him still. Of course not. You don't want me to be with Claudin, do you? Baby, I... Did you make his parents hate me? No, I just went over there to talk to them. Mom. Look, it wasn't going to work out anyways. I'm saving you the trouble. I can't believe you. I'm telling him. Claudin, I can't talk to you. No, wait, there's something I have to... <coughs> Whoa, Lena, you all right? All my classmates are getting such cool powers. I really hope I get something good. A spider? What kind of power is that? Ow! Did something just bite me? So, what power did you get? Honestly, I don't even know. Mine just shows a picture of a spider. You gonna grow eight legs or something? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Why don't we just go to class, okay? Can anyone tell me the answer to letter C? Why is the board so blurry? I'm wearing my glasses. <sighs> no way. I can see without these now? Could I have the rest of that? Oh yeah, sure, here. Can you let go? I'm trying. You know what? I'm just gonna go. <sighs> oh, come on, just get off. Oh. Hey! Coach, I am so sorry. Don't touch me. Right. Let go of my shirt. I'm trying. <laughs> my shirt! <laughs> Honey, plug yourself in. I will. Okay, relax. Where even is my charger? Eh, I'll find it later. Mom, I'm at 1% and I can't find my charger anywhere. Haley, I told you! I don't feel so good. No, hang on. That was the third time this has happened this month. I know, I'm sorry. Thanks for saving me. Honey, I've been working on a new invention. I want to show it to you. A bracelet? It's a portable charger that allows you to never run out of battery. It's finally ready for use. Really? Yep, I made it just for you. But Haley, don't tell anyone what it does, okay? Nice bracelet. Thanks. Do I know you? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Henry Powers. How did you do that? Huh. I was about to ask you the same thing. I'm gonna need you to come with me. This week is important, kids. Because our scales appeared. Yes, since this is you and your brother's 18th birthday week, we'll finally get to find out how evil you two are. I already know. Mine's going straight to villain. Of course it is, darling. Your last name isn't Menace for nothing. Oh, I can just see the headlines now. Mindy Menace, world's greatest supervillain. We got you suits. <gasps> yes! Sweet! I know, but you can't wear them until your birthday. Huh? Why not? You're not a true villain until the scale says so. My suit better be flame-proof. Yeah, and mine better handle ice. Mindy, Max, don't worry. They do. 
Can I get a cape? No, no, no capes. Hey, how'd your scale go up? Oh, I took your credit card when you weren't looking. I hope you don't mind. I got a couple things. Oh, ow! Ha, huh, that's what you get. Whoa, chill. I've got a plan. And you're going to want to hear about it. I know a way we can move our scales a lot. I'm listening. So, can I borrow it? You know what? It's actually broken. I just saw you using it. Well, my answer is no. Whatever. This is why no one likes you. Ugh. Let's see how popular she is after this. Jessica trips in front of her crush. Hey, Joshua! <laughs> Dude, she just tripped on air. <sighs> I'm so thirsty. Wait, what if I just... A water bottle appeared in my hand. No way! So basically, I can have whatever I want. I just have to write it down. I don't feel like walking home today, so what if... Tom Holland picked me up from school today. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Tom Holland. Bye. I better put this in my pocket. Oh my gosh, Mom, I think my pocket had a hole in it. Please tell me you saw my pencil. I think your sister got it, honey. She's upstairs drawing with it. What? It's what my dad would want. You picked the prince, right? Of course. Good, because I'm not having you marry a pirate. They can't be trusted. Dad was a pirate, and you married him. We don't speak of your father. You know that. Marianne, why do you have the pirate's mark? I don't know. Girl, don't lie to me. All right, fine, I picked the pirate, but I don't know why everyone is so afraid of them. They seem kind of cool. I don't think I can be friends with you. What? Why? Because I'm not going to be associated with someone who wants to marry a pirate. They're dangerous, and now that you have that mark, they're going to come for you. Mom, I'm home. Mom? <gasps> Hello. We're looking for a girl with the pirate's mark. Take off that cloak. Make a wish. Hey, happy birthday. What's your soulmate's name so daddy can take care of him? Dad. I'm kidding. Come on. His name hasn't even shown up yet. Okay, but when it shows up, you tell me who it is. Understand? No, please. I'm telling you. I, I don't know nothing. Oh. Maria, put your headphones on. Hey, Maria. Yeah? I finally did it, sweetheart. I got his location. And by his, do you mean the man that killed... Your mother. Yeah. Turns out he's got a secret son. You're kidding. Nah, he's a CEO of a company. Let me guess. You want me to use him to get to his father? Yep. I already got a plan. What's his name? Antonio. Antonio Stefano. <sighs> what? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. Just thought I saw a bug. Tell me what you need me to do. And pretend you got a big business deal for him. Okay, but what if he's not interested? Then you make him interested. For mom, I'll do whatever it takes. Which one should I pick? Pick the blue one. It's a really cool power. Okay. Good thing she can't read. Yeah, let's test her power. This is going in the trash. You're never gonna see it again. No, give it back. Nope, it's gone. Look at this cash, it's working. Honey, I found more cash. She must have cried herself to sleep. She can never know about her power. I'm setting it to private, so only we can see it. Can you guys please just tell me what my power is? I'm 17, I think I'm old enough to know. We told you to stop asking about that. Go to your room, you're being annoying. Why are they always so mean to me? She's crying again. We're officially millionaires. Hey, what's up here? Why was this money stashed away, and where did it come from? They tell me every day that we are dirt poor. Would you like to know your power? Really, guys? You got me a paint set for my birthday? Sweetheart, that is a special paint set. This thing doesn't even come with a paintbrush. Press a color. Um, okay. What is 13 times 379? 4,927. Excuse me? What the? I believe that's the answer. 4,927. That's right. Oh, what the hell? You didn't use a calculator. How did you... This power is making me super smart. Want to ditch class and go to the mall? Yeah, but the probability of us getting caught is like 80%. I'll take my chances, Einstein. Let's go to the American Girl store. Okay. Aw, oh, look at the cute girl and her doll. Hey, kid, did you know that American Girl dolls were invented in 1986? I think I know more about American Girl yeah. dolls than you do, You never to any American girl said. Happy birthday, we got you something. I think I know what it is. An iPhone 4 Colored pencils. pencils. 
Really? Honey, they're magic pencils. Right. Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey, babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? Are you nervous? <laughs> what? No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's mom? She's outside with Coco giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. I'm just a baby! Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still have to say okay, mom. I'm just a baby! Become queen or go to a strange land? Why would they even put that as an option? Whoops! Oh, stepmother, what have you done? Did you really think I would allow you to become queen? What's happening to me? You're being You're sent being to a land with no happy endings. What is this place? Oh my gosh, there you are. You're late. Late? Yeah, you're Princess Briella, right? Well, yes. Okay, follow me. The kids are waiting. Princess, you came to my birthday party. Oh, it's your birthday? Uh-huh. Well, today's my birthday, too, but I'm afraid it hasn't gone very well. Aw, well, I have your book, Princess. Maybe that will make you feel better. Oh, that's my home. We read your book every day. Thank you so much for entertaining them. Of course. How much do I owe you? Oh, no, you don't have to pay me anything, kind peasant, but... I am looking for a place to stay. Do you think that I could stay with you for a little while? Uh... Daddy, please? Five mil or a lamp? Well, I'm like really afraid of the dark, so I gotta have a lamp. <sighs> this isn't a lamp. It doesn't even have like a light bulb. Did you get your birthday gift yet? Yeah, I picked a lamp, but I got scammed. It doesn't even light up or anything. That's a genie lamp. What? Have you tried rubbing it? Um, no, that's weird. You dumb dumb, you gotta rub it to activate your wishes. Haven't you seen Aladdin? Oh my god, wait, I remember that movie, you're right. So, do I just rub it like this? Yeah, I think so. Nothing's happening. Open the lamp. Agree! Congrats. You got three wishes. Mr. Toad's storybook characters are missing, and no one seems to remember them but us. Like who? Like Bo Peep and Jack. And Hansel doesn't even remember his sister Gretel. Who's Gretel? It's no use, Goldilocks. We're the only ones that remember. Meet me at the Storybrook Library. We need to investigate. Goldie, look at this. Just as I thought, someone's blacking out the storybook characters. And they're completely disappearing from their stories. This has one person written all over it. Cruella. Cruella, we know you're here. Well, well, it looks like we have visitors. <gasps> Down boy, can I get you two anything? How about a nice warm fur coat? I'm vegan. Even after the wolf incident? All right. Well, then what do you two want? To know why you're making storybook characters disappear. <laughs> it's not funny. You're erasing their stories. Hey, Mr. Toad, sorry I'm late. Better be the last time, Red. Hey, Goldilocks. Hey. Psst, Jill, where's Jack? Who? Oh, Jack and the Beanstalk? No, your brother Jack. Yeah, like Jack and Jill went up the hill? Huh? That's not my story. You don't remember your own brother? Goldie, Red, no talking. That was weird, even for Jill. Right? How does she not remember her own brother? Hey, Humpty Dumpty, have you seen Jack? Jack and the Beanstalk? No, like Jack and Jill. He's your best friend. Huh? I'm not friends with anyone named Jack. That's really weird how no one else remembers Jack. Hey, is that Bo Peep? I've never seen her without her sheep. Hey, Bo Peep, where are your sheep? <laughs> sheep? You guys are silly. I don't have any sheep. I'm starting to think it's not just Jack who went missing. It's about to happen. What's about to happen? The name of our crushes. It's going to be above our head. Please tell me that you're joking. No, I'm being serious. Why are you so nervous? Who's your... What am I going to do? I can't go to school with this. Yeah, you're on your own. Get back here. Hey, honey. Are you okay? Actually, no, Mom. I can't go to school. <laughs> I'm sick. My poor baby. Let's take your temp. Oh, no, Mom. That's okay. I Hush. We have to take it. Honey, you're fine. Hey, Bree. Why are you wearing glasses and a hat? Hello? Just look above my head. 
You like Mr. Smith? I have him next, period. What am I gonna do? Oh boy. Uh, if you don't look him in the eyes, I don't think he could see his name. Good morning, class. Good morning, Bree. I like your hat. Uh, can you please look at me when I'm talking to you? Bree, I don't understand. You're always so friendly. Mom, look, I could get a teddy bear or a paintbrush. I think I'm gonna go with teddy bear. <gasps> no, pick the paintbrush. But I said pick it. Okay. My paintbrush came in. Oh, thank goodness. There, that's for you. Now paint money. Money? Why money? Honey, just paint it. Okay. Okay, I'm done, but I don't understand why- Shh. Look! Your paintbrush is magic. No way. So you're telling me that everything I paint will come to life? Yes, the paintbrush only works for you. Well, I want to paint a puppy. Honey, no. Don't be selfish. You need to think of others before yourself, and there's lots of things that I need. Okay, here's your gold crown. Oh, it's perfect. Mom, can you please make me some food? All this painting is making me really hungry. Why, of course. But don't draw anything while I'm cooking. I'm going to paint something she would never let me have. My own boyfriend. Honey, dinners. Let me see that. Did you get your soulmate sign yet? No, not yet. What's your zodiac sign again? I'm an Aquarius. Maybe your crush Sam is your soulmate. He's a Leo, and they're supposed to be good matches for Aquariuses. Please, just show up. Gemini. A Gemini. So, I guess my soulmate's not Sam. Did you get your crush's sign? No, I got a Gemini. <laughs> my brother's a Gemini. You don't think your brother and I might be... Soulmates? Ew, of course not. Don't even go there. <laughs> hey, Kate, what's that on your face? My soulmate's sign. When you meet your soulmate, their sign appears on your face. My soulmate was Sam. <clears throat> um, are you okay? Yeah, I'm so happy for you too. My brother's got detention today. Excuse me, that top is against dress code. Apparently so do I. Tell Luke I said hi. <laughs> no talking. Gotta love detention, huh? Oh, hey Luke. Hey, uh, you got something on your face. Por favor, ayúdeme. I don't speak Spanish, I'm sorry. ¿Cómo se dice ángel? Ay. An angel shot? Sí. Señora, ¿le está molestando? Agent Foster, do not get involved. She wants an angel shot. Oh, okay, ma'am. Why don't you come over here with me? Gracias, señora. Hey, where's she going? Get back over here. Agent Foster, stand down. Let the security handle it. Sir, we need you to come with us. I'm not coming with you anywhere. Oh, yes, you are. What? How are you? How did you take my power? Ugh, I need that bracelet. Mom, we have a problem. What, honey? Well, there was like this crazy guy at school, and he had electric powers or something, and he was sucking the battery life from me. What? He did? Yeah, but don't worry, your bracelet protected me. That must have been a power sucker. A what? There are people who recharge themselves by taking other people's battery life. Do you know where he went? No, I ran away, and then he... What was that? I think he might have followed you. Go, hide. No, I'm not gonna leave you by yourself. You can't hide from me. Leave us alone. Hand over the bracelet. Not a chance. Okay, then. Guess I'll drain her battery. Mom! Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna drain all her battery life. No, okay, you can have it. Don't. If he gets that, he'll be unstoppable. Wanna go to a concert tonight? Uh, yes. <laughs> Your stepmom gonna let you? Yeah, totally. Absolutely not. But... But nothing. You owe us too many favors. Look, if I complete all of the favors, then can I go? I suppose that's fair. I agree. She needs to change that number. What are you talking about? <laughs> She's so innocent. You're never gonna make it. This is useless. I've already done so many chores, and I still have 40 favors left. Excuse me, dear. What if I told you I could get rid of all your favors? You just have to hold this for me. Seriously? Deal. Excellent. Thank you so much. Ella, you finished all your favors. How? Ah, mother! Huh. Ready for the concert? Where did you get that? Why? Because that gem is dangerous. If you touch it, you... Please, put those down. Chill. I'm not going to use this on you. Wait. Ugh. What are you doing? Look, I had to. Just here, take these scissors and come with me. I need to show you something. We can't just leave that girl like that. 
Yeah, we can. Now, do you see that guy over there? Yeah. He only has one task left. You have to take him out. What? No. You have to. No, I'm not- Hey, sorry to do this to you, but I only got one task left, and it's a really bad one. <laughs> I knew you had it in you. Come on, we should go. I can't believe I just did that. Um, Lauren? Why does my next task say for me to kill somebody, but it's already checked off? I don't think that guy made it. I don't feel so good. Hey, listen, you have to complete everything. What does it say for you to do next? We have to save the girl that you hurt. Look at me. If we're gonna go save her, you need this. You came back. Yeah, I'm gonna save you, okay? How? The school's on lockdown until someone wins the game. <sighs> Wait, I have an idea. The nurse's office, it has tons of medical supplies. I'm gonna go get some. All right, but like, be careful. I will. I grabbed a bunch of stuff, and luckily for you, I know how to do stitches. Okay, you should be feeling a lot better now. Yeah, thanks. I only have one more left. So do I. What are you doing? You're like not that smart. My last task was to betray someone. That's why you helped me. Wow, look who's catching on. Anyways, sorry about this. No! Wait, what do you say we make a deal? I'm listening. My last task is to make sure you don't win the game. So if you drop that weapon right now, I'll win and we can split the cash 50-50. Huh, I mean, I would like to end this craziness. So what do you say? I'll take the deal. Be careful, I don't trust her. Here's your last hundred. Thank you. But I decided I want all the money. Hey, how many followers do you have? Like four, but it doesn't even matter because I'm not joining that contest. Oh, well, I'm almost at one mil and I'm going to win that contest before anyone. Well, um, good for you. <laughs> okay, now ready? Catch. I got it. Good, now throw it back to me. <sighs> Lily? I don't feel so... Lily! What's your emergency? My little sister fainted and she's not waking up. Are your parents home? No, it's just me and her. My parents are on vacation. Stay calm. Help is on the way. So, how is she? She is stable, but the procedure she needs done is going to cost over $200,000. Oh, we don't have that kind of money. Well, you don't have insurance either, so there's really nothing. No, I... wait. I can get you the money. Are you sure about that? Because I'm not really supposed yes, to. Yes, I'm sure. Just do whatever you have to do to help her. Okay. Time to post some videos. I really hope this helps me gain more followers. And post. Please work. <gasps> Ash, what's above my head? It's a love meter. It tells you how much people love you. Wow, girl, you really love me. Of course I do, bestie. Hey, mom. Hi, hon. How was your day at school today? Why don't you love me? Excuse me? What are you talking about? I knew I was your least favorite child. I bet you aren't even my real mom. Are you okay, babe? No, I found out that my mom doesn't even love me. Aw, oh, baby, who couldn't love you? Apparently you. The meter shows 1%. Well, yeah, because it's- Just leave me alone. You're literally the only person who still loves me, Ashley. Ugh, bestie, I'm so sorry. Here, have some water. Thanks. Hey, Ash. She is so stupid. I told her the hate meter is a love meter. <laughs> when she drinks that water, her boyfriend is mine. Remember, girls, no using your powers at school. Don't worry, Professor. I'll make sure everything goes fine. I'm so excited for our first day of high school. Yeah, because being stuck in a building for eight hours is going to be so much fun. Everyone, please welcome our new students, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup. Um, who picked out your names? <laughs> <laughs> the professor named us. Who? Oh, she means our dad. He's a scientist. Oh, wow, very interesting. What a bunch of freaks. <laughs> <laughs> Way to keep our cover, Bubbles. Sorry. It's okay, Bubbles. So... You three are sisters? Yeah, why? How come you guys look nothing alike? We're all adopted. Yikes, so you're not really sisters then? Of course we are. Of course we are. Ugh, your voice is so annoying. Why don't you say that again? <gasps> what the? I'm telling you, we saw her. Her eyes were red. I think you guys have seen too many scary movies. I agree. Yeah, me have laser eyes. Come on. We're telling the truth. They are freaks. Ladies, that is enough. You two have detention for lying. What? We are so getting you back. Thanks for trying to protect me, Blossom. Of course, nobody bullies my sister. Blossom, do you realize what you've done? Our cover is officially blown. No, it's not. The principal didn't even believe them. But Blossom, look, there's a camera up there. 
Uh oh, do you think they could have recorded me using my powers? Let's hope not. Don't worry, I'll just destroy the camera. Bubbles, no! Don't! What? Now the camera's destroyed. Uh oh. So there was a fire at school today, hmm? You girls wouldn't have anything to do with that, now would you? Blair, what's on your face? I don't know. Come here. We have to cover this up right now. But why? Because it, um, it makes you look ugly. Stay here. I'm gonna go buy some makeup. Bye, Dad. I'm going to school. Not so fast. Let's see your face. Seriously? Fine, you caught me. I ran out of concealer. And whose fault is that? Dad, you know today is my birthday, and my friend bought me this cupcake. You have to cover up that mark with concealer. Can't you just buy me some? No, I have to go to work, so you're gonna stay home. Happy birthday to me. This is ridiculous. I'm going to school. People can make fun of this mark all they want. Girl, you're late. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, your mark. I know, it's ugly, just ignore it. No, Blair, that's the mark of the lost princess. How many words, honey? I got a hundred. Remember, you have to use them by midnight or you die. I got this, I know, I'll be fine. Ah, uh, crap, I barely talked at all today at school. I still have 50 words left and it's almost midnight. I have an idea. This one is for the boys with the booming system. Top down AC with the cooling system. <laughs> boom, ba -dum, boom, 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 super bass. All words used. How many words today, hun? Zero? Wow, you lucky girl. Have fun. You really got zero words to use up today? Well, girl, I got a lot of words I gotta use up, so you can just listen to me talk. So they all thought my score was fake. You're listening, right? Okay, good. So then my boyfriend was like, I am so sorry to do this, hun. I just can't handle all these words. Why would you do that? There is three hours till midnight. I can't use up 10,000 words. There's something you need to know about me. Hi, can I just get, um, what's a mega pint? That's equivalent to 20 of these coffee cups. Okay, guess I'll be getting that then. Stop that. Sorry. I'm a little hyper this morning. I had a lot of coffee. Just don't fold the money. That reminds me of a song. My money don't jiggle jiggle. It falls up. There's no singing in my classroom. Detention. No, please. That's going to mess up my perfect record for college. And I've been saving up for so long. You could pay me 50 diamonds to get out of it. Of course. Help! My dog stepped on a bee! Your dog looks fine to me. He's not! I need 20,000 diamonds to take him to the vet! I'm sorry, but I'm trying to save up for college. Please. <sighs> Alright, fine, but you owe me. Everyone, pay up for college. Wait, that's today? Yep, it's 40,000 diamonds to get in. I don't have enough. Hmm, <laughs> but I do. I wanna play mother, may I, for a chance to win 50 million? I always wanted a mother, and I can use the money to buy myself my own house one day. Hello. Hi. Are you really my mother now? Yes, I am your mother. You listen to me. Okay. Mother, may I have this cookie? No, you may not. But- Do not argue with me. It is past your bedtime. Mother, may you sing me a bedtime song? I'm tired, but I can't sleep. No. <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mother's going to buy you a mockingbird. Thank you, Mother. You're the best mother I ever had. Hey, Mother, I was just thinking, may I know what happens if I don't listen to you? No, you may not. Well, Mother, may I go to school? Yes, you may. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Arrest him, now! Get off of me! He didn't do anything wrong. Get her to safety. Luke! Yeah. Mom, Dad, you have to let him go. He was an accomplice to your kidnapping. Even though he's your sweetheart, he has to pay a price for that. No, he was the one that rescued me. What? He did. Yes, I've been trying to tell you. He was the one who saved me from the cotton candy fairy. Honey, we need to release him. Lord Licorice took my daughter. I say we keep his son. Dad, that isn't the way. She's right. You two need to make amends. Thanks for getting me released. Of course. It's the least I can do. I'm really happy our parents are getting along now. I'm so glad too. I need to ask you something. 
Lolly, will you make me the happiest man in Candyland and marry me? Yes. Everyone, we're engaged. Aw, oh, congrats, sweetheart. Just look at that ring. Congratulations. Lolly, I couldn't have asked for a better soulmate. Me either. Son, look who I've brought you. Is that... King Candy's daughter? Yes, indeed. Why are her hands tied? She's very feisty. But I'm sure she's happy to see you. Are you? Mm. Mm. Oh, she can't talk. I gave her the sticky taffy. Dad! There, now you're free. Drink this. It'll dissolve the taffy. It'll take a few seconds to work. Thanks. I'll give you two some alone time. It's really nice to meet you, Lolly. My name is Prince Licorice, but you can call me Luke. Well, I want to go home, Luke. Please stay. I want to get to know you. No, your dad creeps me out, and I don't think I can trust you guys. Lolly, I'm not like my dad, I swear. No, I want to go home, and that's an order. Fine, as you wish. Listen, it's going to be a long journey for you. You're not going to escort me back? No way. My dad would freak. So I have to walk through Candyland all alone? Get it. I don't need you. I can handle myself. Candyland is a very dangerous place, especially for a dainty princess like you. I am not dainty. Well, you sure are stubborn. Goodbye, Luke. Hey, we're supposed to be together. You're my sweetheart. Well, having me kidnapped wasn't very sweet. That wasn't my idea. Whatever. Just go. I don't even care anymore. Ugh, what is this stuff? Chocolate swamp? Uh-oh. Oh, this stuff is like quicksand. What do I do? Wait, I think my lollipop still has a little bit of magic in it, so maybe I can turn this into hard chocolate instead. <gasps> it's working. What are you doing in my swamp? Um, I was just leaving, sir. Hey! What is this place? Princess? Are you lost? Yeah, a little bit. Oh no, here, have some cotton candy. Thank you. This is so good. Glad you like it. <laughs> I'm gonna need both of you to come with me. No thanks. <gasps> Mom, did you just kill him? No, he's still alive. We need to question him. Go get the duct tape. There, he's not going anywhere. <sighs> hey, what are you guys doing? We want to know who you work for and why we found this inside of our ears. Show him. I, I don't know what you're talking about. If you won't talk, we'll sing. Wait, Mom, we can't do that. Yes, we can, honey. We don't have the chips in our ears anymore. It won't hurt us, but it'll hurt him. Just keep your eyes closed. No, hey, wait a minute. Are you, are you coming into the tree where dead men called out for his love to flee? Strange. Oh, wait, stop. I'll tell you. I work for a secret government organization. We put chips in everyone's ears and wipe their memories of it. By making singing lethal, it was a way for us to control the public. This is horrible. We have to tell everyone. Go ahead, honey. We're live. We have all been lied to. The government has been putting these in our ears. That's why singing kills us. But if you take them out, singing will no longer kill anyone, and we can be free. We did it, Bria. We're all saved. Honey, please wake up. Mom? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, my ears, they hurt. Uh, so bad. It's gonna be okay. Let me just look. I see something. What? There is something in your ear. I'm gonna take it out. No, no, don't. Bria, I have to. It's probably what's causing you the pain. Don't move. Is it out? I got it. This is what was inside of your ear. I think there's one in my ear, too. You need to take it out. Fine. Just come here. Oh, I got it. Thank goodness. I need to test something. Put those on and sing. No, Mom, I don't want to hurt you. It's okay, honey. Sing. <sighs> the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun. Are you okay? I'm fine. It was the chip killing people all along. But who would have put it in all of our ears? Open up. Sam. You're alive? Yes, you you won't believe what happened. Your mom, she poisoned me with a sleeping potion. What? But somehow, the spell was broken. True love's kiss. Mom, how could you? I... You said you wanted to marry a prince. Oh, so you two were plotting together. Well, we couldn't let you marry that scum, now could we? See, the thing is, Daniel, I'd rather marry a guard than a selfish, cowardly prince. I was wrong, darling. Please forgive me. Then let me marry Sam.
And maybe we can talk about forgiveness. Yes, Violet, you have my blessing. Well, then what about me? You? You wanted to have my finger removed. Oh, yes, I did say that. <laughs> did he really say that, Violet? You know, as the princess's guard, it's my job to protect her from harm. Oh, please, you don't scare me. <gasps> really? Because you look a little scared to me, Daniel. I suggest you run now. Yes, sir. I've been meaning to ask you this for a long time. Violet, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> I always had a feeling you and I were soulmates, Violet. Sorry you didn't get your Prince Charming. It's okay. I got something better. Where's my mom and brother? Where are you taking them? Who are you? Well, Penny, I'm actually your uncle. What? Didn't your dad ever tell you he had a twin? <laughs> what do you want with us? Your dad owes me a lot of money, and he hasn't been very cooperative, so I decided I needed a little leverage. That's where your family comes into play. Are my mom and brother... They're fine, and they'll stay that way as long as your dad cooperates. And what about me? Someone with your power can be very useful for my line of work. I think I'll keep you. Your dad escaped from my men. Ask where he is. Where's my dad? So, what's it say? It says he's in his car. Well, he's too late. You and I are leaving. I don't think so. Whoa. Penny! Hey! Are you okay? Is it really you? Yes, Penny, I swear it's me, honey. I just found your mom and brother. They're all right. You're safe now. Hi, honey. Oh, hey, Dad. Is your phone ringing? No. Oh, really? Because I'm pretty sure I hear that. Who's calling you? No one. It was just uh, a video that I was watching. Um, anyways, I'm going to go now. Hello? Penny, hey, listen to me very carefully. Dad? Yes, that man in the house is not me. Get your mom and your brother and get out. Wait, what? There's a lot more to explain, but... Hello? Come on, come on, pick up. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. What? Where is my dad? Dinner's ready. Okay, just a minute. Hey, sis, thanks a lot for snitching on me. Come here. Get off of me, what's up? Shh. Something very bad has happened, and I need your help. Mom, what's this location thingy? Honey, that means you're the special one of the family. Huh? One family member from each household is given the gift of knowing people's locations. Sweet. Cool, sis. Makes up for the fact that you've got no other talent. <laughs> your brother isn't answering his phone. Where's my brother? He's at Jessica's, and I think we probably know what they're both doing. <gasps> oh, he is so grounded. Dad, you're back from your trip early. Uh, yeah, I am. Secret handshake? What? <laughs> Our secret handshake, we always do it when you get back from your trips. Oh, of course. Uh, honey, I'm so sorry. I'm just so tired. I'm gonna go lay down. He would never forget our secret handshake. I might be crazy to ask this, but where's my dad? <gasps> it's him. Hey, you in there? No, his score went down again. It's getting really cold in here. He has to notice that it's not me. Jared, look, here comes another person. Make them slip and fall with your ice powers. No, this just feels mean now. Oh, please, Jared, we were just messing around. You sure your dad doesn't mind if I act naughty? Yes, I told you, he doesn't care anymore. <laughs> now, Jared, what do you say you and I be really naughty and we can go to your place and you can unwrap me like a little Christmas present? Nah, you're not Holly. What? Of course I am. My soulmate would never say- Is that a purple streak in your hair? No. Hey, are those wings? <sighs> Dang it, the magic is wearing off. Where is she? I'm not telling. Ow! You know you're gonna make your nice score go down. It's going down a lot more if you okay, don't- Okay, wait, I'll show you where she is. Just follow me. Holly! Holly, come on, wake up! I don't like this, come on! Oh no, I think the blizzard killed her. I think the blizzard killed her. No. How long has she been in here? Over five hours, and your ice powers aren't going to be much help to her. She needs someone who could warm her up. I think I know just the guy. Ugh. Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to save my soulmate. Wait a minute. Aren't you Jack Frost's son? Yes, and this is Santa's daughter. Can you please help her? She's been out in a blizzard for hours. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. But if you're really Jack Frost's son, you should leave. This place will kill you. Not until I know she's okay. There, yeah, that should have helped her. Oh, Holly. Jared? You're... you're okay. Wait, what's wrong? The heat... it's too hot. I, I can't get up. <laughs> Please, Mr. Heatmiser, you have to help me. If I touch him, I'll only make him worse. 
It's okay, Holly. All that matters is that you're safe. Jared, you reached 100% on your niceness score. We can get married. You can't give up on me now. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. I'm sorry. I don't think he's going to make it. Holly? Jared! Do you need some help? Yes, please. Okay, let's get him up. Okay, we got him back in the snow. Now we just have to wait and hope he wakes up. You really love him, don't you? With all my heart. <sighs> Jared? Holly. You okay? Yeah, never better. <laughs> Jared, you were willing to sacrifice yourself to save my daughter. So, you have my full blessing to marry her. Thank you, Mr. Claus. That means a lot. Looks like you both are on the nice list. And do you take Jared Frost to be your husband? I do. Well then, I now pronounce you officially Mr. and Mrs. Frost. Jared, what did I tell you about making it snow inside the house? Ah, uh, babe, this isn't me. But if you're not using your powers, then... <coughs> no way! Looks like baby Crystal has taken up after me. Let's hope this next power is better than last time. You have completed the yellow row. New power unlocked. Now that's what I'm talking about! Can I have that? No. Aw, oh, come on. Just give it to me. Let go. What the? You're not the boss of me. Really? Okay. Go get me an iced tea. Right now. Okay. Why, thank you. <laughs> what? Why did I do that? Because I'm the boss. Honey, take out the trash. Um, no. Tell Dad to do it. Bob, take out the trash. Ugh. Watch it, Klutz. <laughs> oh, you really shouldn't have done that. Oh, really? Why not? Do you ever hear of the saying, what goes around comes around? What is she talking about? Why don't you show us your dancing? What? I can't dance. Oh, no, you're just being modest. Dance. Oh, apparently this remote can take you into any movie. Jaws? Uh, yeah, I think I'll pass. Star Wars? Ugh, now that is tempting. Batman? Hmm, that could be fun. Movie selected. What? I didn't even press anything. Character, Catwoman. Transporting now. No, 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 wait! I think I'm in Gotham. Hey, there you are. Oh my gosh, you're... Holly Quinn, who else? You were supposed to be meeting with Mr. J. Uh, I... Well, don't just stand there. We don't want to keep putting weight in. I'll go start the car. Selena. Batman? You shouldn't be here. Actually, you're right. I think I'm going to head back home. Uh-oh. Where's my remote? What remote? Are you looking for this one? I need that back. No way. I found it on the floor, so find this keepers. Hand it over, Harley. Relax, Batsy. I'm just looking at it. Ooh, what does this button do? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Everything's fine, sir. I want to talk to her. Ah, uh, sorry, she just fell asleep. Thanks to this brat, Mr. Knight is getting suspicious. You're not going to get away with this. Mr. Knight is going to find me. <gasps> it's him. Stay calm. I will handle it. Mm, so I can assure you, everything is fine. Help! Wait, don't open that... Madeline? I'm sorry, sir, but you're supposed to be in love with me, not her. You're my assistant. But I wanted to be more than that. You're insane. Both of you, get back. Susan and your fake uncle have both been arrested. I thought I'd never see you again. I am so sorry this happened, Madeline. But I promise, as your father, I'll protect you from now on. Father? So, you still want to adopt me? Aw, oh, kid, of course. I mean, after all, we've got that list to finish, right? And look what I found. I love you, Dad. Madeline, I... I love you, too. You don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? No, not really. Hey, it's me. The candy worked. She's half out of it now. Excellent. All right, time to come inside. Come on. Finally, I can take this from her. So what do we do with her now? Well, she's already got Mr. Knight all the publicity he needs, so she's no longer of use to me. Susan, what's going on? Oh, Madeline, isn't it obvious? I'm getting you away from Mr. Knight. He's mine. Mr. Knight is going to find me. He's not going to look for you, because Susan's been telling him that you're fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, darling, but I need to be the focus of Mr. Knight's life, not you.
Oh. I check it once, then I check.